Hi everyone! Today I would like to show you how to make Chinese barbecued pork cha siu in Chinese. Cha siu literally means fork roasted. It's a traditional way to roast the pork by put the pork in the fork then set into the oven. Cha siu it's a sweet, savory Cantonese classic dish. Today, I want to share with you a simple, easy way to cook at your own home. The pork I pick is center cut boneless pork chop. See this pork chop has a lot of fat. You can see from here. So that will give a more juicy, smooth taste and see those Before I begin making the sauce, I will give a little treatment to the pork. I will use a hammer like this to hammer the meat. Why I do this? There's two reasons. First reason is I can break down the texture, help the sauce to be absorbed better into the pork. You can see the pork is pretty thick. By hammering the meat, they will give lots of hole like a beehive here, to, so the sauce can be absorbed. I do on both sides. Another reason is they will reduce the cooked time. If you don't have this hammer, no problem. You can just use fork instead. Doing like just like this. This is really easy to poke in through. You can see I can do on both sides. So your pork is ready, beautiful. And we just need to prepare the barbecue sauce. Then marry this pork into the sauce overnight. Okay. Pork is ready. So I will set on the side to make the sauce. Now let me start to make the Chinese barbecue Take sauce. Two pieces of Chinese fermented red bean curd and some the juice inside. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon soy sauce. One tablespoon dark soy sauce. One tablespoon of cooking wine. Two tablespoon of honey. Four tablespoon of sugar. One eighth teaspoon of five spice powder. One eighth teaspoon of white pepper powder. One eighth teaspoon of ginger powder. One glove of minced garlic. I use this crushed garlic in a cube. One cube equals one garlic club. Put one into it. So that's all the ingredients for the barbecue sauce mixed up already and I just need to put in the Ziploc bag. Then I will put my pork into the bag. Massage the sauce into pork. Then 
then I will leave this in the fridge overnight. If you want to do uh, within the same day, at least you should marinate for four hours. Does that sound simple? Hello, welcome back. Now the pork has been marinated overnight. It's time to roast it. So first I took this out of the bag, put onto a baking pan with a wire rack on the top. See, beautiful color. Set on the top. Hmm. and preheat the oven to 400 degree Fahrenheit. But before I do that, I want to add a little bit of red tint to the pork. So the pork looks very pretty when it is roasted to make a food color. I'm going to use this red yeast rice. You can get this from Asian market. Um, this is pure natural food color. I will use one quarter cup of uh, this red yeast rice plus one cup of water and boil them. I already did that. See, you can see the color. I got this beautiful natural food color if you don't have this you can skip this step the, the meat is already look very good in very good color but the, this will the red tint will even enhance the look after meat is uh, roasted Now my oven is reach 400 degree. I will just need to put this pork into the oven for 25 minutes. While the pork is roasted in the oven, I'm going to save this red food color I made into a little cute jar here for next use. Now you know how to make a natural red food color. Okay, natural food color. I will save the remaining barbecue sauce from the Ziploc bag to this bowl and set on side. Once the pork baked for 25 minutes, I will brush the remaining sauce over both sides of the pork and I uh, will roast for another 25 minutes. It's another 25 minutes, so look at this, how well it turned out. Look at the color. And then a little bit of char outside on the edge. Let me brush the honey water on the top for our final touch. The hot water will give not just the sweetness to the pork, it will also give a glowing look once the pork is done. Okay, I will put back into the oven for another 10 minutes. Now the roast pork is done. Let's cut. Let me have a bite. Mm. It's juicy inside and outside it's sweet and a little char taste outside. Very tender and juicy. Very savory taste.
How do you think? You don't even need any dipping sauce because all the sauce are already absorbed by the pork. So, Chinese barbecued pork. Hi guys, I just used the remaining barbecue sauce and the marinade tenderloin just to make to save the sauce and make another batch. Yeah, that's my pork tenderloin in barbecue sauce. If you like my video, please give a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to click the bell so you can get notified whenever I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching.